Hey, what's up, guys? My name is WMJ, and welcome to A Young Fire. A Young Fire is a channel for young people like you and me who are on fire for God, passionate about their purpose, and enthusiastic about life. And if you are one of those people, why don't you hit the subscribe button and, of course, put the notification bell on so that you never miss out on a video that we post on this channel. If you're already part of the Fire Fam, give this video a thumbs up and maybe share the link with your friends. I'm sure somebody would really appreciate it. From that intro, I'm sure you've already gotten the gist of what we're going to be talking about today. Something that is running the world today, in our country, communities, and maybe even in our homes. Hatred. That is the only thing that explains why somebody would do something like this to somebody else. Why somebody would do such despicable acts to somebody else. Someone they claim to love, or a stranger whose name they might not even know. How long are we going to keep allowing these things to persist? Are we going to keep recreating this script generation after generation? I mean, racism, gender-based violence, and sexual assault are issues that have been there in our country and in the world for years. It is honestly beyond me, and I, I keep asking myself if I'm the only person who is wondering when will this end. I mean, generations before us have gone through this. Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King, Steve Biko, Solomon Mashangu, Heroes whose lives we've read about in books. And I keep asking myself, how long are we going to live with these? How long are we going to live with these atrocious acts in our society? As a young person who wants to travel the world and make impact all over the world, I wonder what our future looks like. Is this something that we're going to babysit for forever? Because wow, really? Or, or are we going to make a change? Today I just want to talk to somebody who has experienced these acts of hatred and say you still deserve the absolute best out of life and just because someone did not see your worth does not mean that it doesn't exist. Today I just want to remind you that God has placed so much in you, so much greatness in you that is waiting to be unleashed. The world is ready to hear your voice and your dreams are still valid. Today my friends and family want to remind you that no matter what happens, what you have been through, no matter where you have been, you can still make it. Hate. It is taught. No one is born to hate. The abuse, the killings, they all happen in the absence of love. Love is our answer. Love is the solution. Give strength to each and every one across the globe. If we ever needed God, as now. When good men do nothing, evil prevails. We need to rise up, stand together as a unified force. We cast down every imagination, thought, doctrine that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. Generation to break the racism and the gender-based violence curse. We are a generation of God and the people. We cannot afford to tear our moral fiber as a society down. This is not from God. We are praying together to put it to a stop. Silence is unacceptable. There is no middle ground. It's everyone versus racism. No hate in our time. This is not who we are. All these acts emanate from hatred. Let us not add on to the negativity that is already rampant in this world. You're my brother, you're my sister. The willingness to forgive and give hope. Let us be united. Now to me that is bold. 
Let us be a catalyst to the change that we daily speak of. I want to encourage you today. I want to tell you that you are not alone. I just want you to know that you're enough. I pray that you you find comfort in God and that you also experience His exceeding and amazing love. It doesn't matter what you're going through, what is happening around you. Your purpose is not over. Your plan on this earth is not over. You can still have hope, spread love and have faith. You are deserving of a love that is pure. Let us live and walk in love, in faith and with hope. God is still God. Continue to pray. There's hope in Christ. So go on. I speak peace and I speak hope and I speak love and I speak healing to your hearts. So God loves you and God is still thinking about you. God is for you and not against you. Stand in faith. God says whatsoever is born of God has overcome this world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Love conquers all. The love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Despite any bad thing that could have happened to you as an individual, in Christ, you are victorious. In Christ, you are an overcomer. In Christ, you can face the pain, uh, the shame of the past, and you can receive divine healing and rest. These perpetrators will, will face their judgment and take comfort in that. That you are a victor at the end of it all. So we are in this together. We are praying with you and for you. So don't settle for less. God wouldn't expect that of you. Because your faith is the victory. God bless you. More of you and less of us. More. We pray for more. We pray for more. May we decrease as you increase. More. God, we need more. God, we need more. As the deer pants for the waters. More. So our souls long we for you. I'm really, really glad that we've got young people who are raising their voice and saying the right thing. Let us, let us not, let us not forget. Let us not forget. Let us not forget that the perpetrator wants to breed fear in us. They want to breed self-condemnation and hatred. And these three things have the ability to wield our life piece by piece. Let us not give them that satisfaction. Let us not let fear or hate rampage our hearts. Our identity is far greater. The resilience we have shown throughout the generations keep proving to us that we are worth it. Our creativity and the beauty of our people remind us that we have a place in this world. We deserve the best, just like anybody else. We deserve our place in the world, just like anybody else. And if there's somebody who's watching me who has been through the most, I'm here to tell you that you can still make it. You can come out of that darkness and live the perfect plan of God on your life. Remember that he did not bring you this far just to leave you. Thank you so much for taking our time to watch this video. Until next time I see you, let's walk in purpose, progress, and pure love.